Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's man. go, boys. <sighs> wow, excited. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is an exact, exciting conversation. So <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Like <laughs> Alright, let's do this boys. We're here. Dear Jake, I'm not really sure where to start. There are so many things I want to say, but meeting you for the first time on January of 2017 was a blessing I never knew I had coming. Fast forward a year later when you proposed to me on January 28th, 2018 in Lutzen. That weekend with you was simply amazing, as if it was all a perfect dream, but in reality, every second was something special. Jake, you are so genuine, loving, caring, absolutely hilarious and of course can't forget to mention the most handsome man so perfectly created you are my blessing i'm forever thankful for who you are and what you stand for i'm so beyond excited to stand next to you and be your wife this is our moment god's perfect timing and i couldn't be more ready i love you so very much jake and i can't wait to make more unforgettable memories with you love esther Dear Esther, the day is here that I get to marry the love of my life. Today, September 16th, will be a day that marks our journey to becoming one. Choosing to say I do to you for a lifetime is going to be the best choice I'll make right after choosing Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I've always dreamt of this day since I was a child, that I would get to be blessed by such a beautiful, God-fearing, and courageous woman as yourself. Meeting you while still fighting cancer gave me strength to finish my last chemotherapy and courage that I will find you even though I didn't know if I would see you again after the three-day trip to Lutzen. But with faith, I believed God was going to do the biggest thing in my life that year of 2017, starting with giving me another chance to live and to start a relationship with you, honey. There's nothing more I could ask for than to share this life God has given us, but with you. Knowing I can't even dream of all the things Jesus has in store, I am excited to stop, breathe, and take this very moment in and be thankful you are in it.
sister, my soon-to-be wife. I look forward to soak in the love we've built with one another. Receive the love from our family and friends. I will be there with you soon. I cannot wait to see my beautiful bride. Always by your side. Love, Jake. No longer two, but now one, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Jacob, you may now kiss your bride. It brings me great honor to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jordan. Well, in Colossians chapter 3, verse 14 through 17, it says, above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us together in perfect harmony. Jacob, the one whom you hold by the hand is to be your wife. She has offered you one of the most sacred things under heaven, a woman's life and a woman's love. Fill your lives, teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. Don't just pretend to love others, really love them. Hate what is wrong, hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying.